We've been having a lot of rains this week, so we got a lot of mud here, huh, pigs? You guys did a number on this area. They took down all the weeds that they were up this high, all the weeds. We're gonna be putting these guys back in their pig shelter tomorrow morning because we're gonna be leaving the Homesteaders of America conference. We're gonna have a farm sitter, and so I'm trying to make it super easy for them. I brought in some newer dry wood chips. One thing I've been putting off is getting wood chips. My wood chip dealer has not been coming through lately, so instead of just waiting around, I went to go to my other spot uh, to get more wood chips. Every time I have to go out in the morning like this, it, it definitely reminds me when I used to go to my office job. 17 years of working in that office and taking the same drive, now I'm either going to Lowe's to build something or I'm going to go collect some wood chips somewhere. I do not want to forget that feeling of me driving to work wanting to not be there because that just, you know, reminds me of where we're at today and to not take today for granted and to always be aware of that and be like, okay, remember? Remember how you felt driving to work. You wanted to shovel those wood chips, and now you're shoveling those wood chips. <laughs> yeah. And I put a good layer in here just to get fresh wood chips, and then I took some poop out um, just to, because it was getting kind of high back there. Um, but took some poop out, fresh wood chips. I'm gonna make another lane here with this netting. I'm trying to make tomorrow morning go as smooth as possible. It's not very easy to leave the farm, you know? Because you gotta think about a farm sitter. You gotta think about how to make it easy for them. Because they're gonna watch, you know, we only have two, we're small here, so we only have two pigs, about 13 egg layers. All our meat chickens are gone. Just like how we moved them over there, we're gonna move it over here. I, mean, I think it worked pretty well last time, so we're gonna give it a shot again. All right, we need to move these two pigs out. Hey pigs, they're hungry. You wanna keep the pigs hungry when you move them? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna basically lure them with feed. Pig, 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 pig. That rope came out. The rope came out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, why? This rope came out. There we go. Oh, that one? Yeah. So we need a new rope now. Oh. First problem of the day. Luckily, I just bought some new rope. Let's give them all of it. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. This was an old rope anyway. This is the original rope. Five years, five years. I really need to make these holes bigger. The only thing I see with this shelter here is they took out one of my lights. I <laughs> had a solar powered light here. Here's the light. <clears throat> it still works, but they, kind of bit it off. So you gotta burn these edges. I need to drill those holes bigger or put some kind of hook on it so I could just hook, hook it up real nice or quicker.
Come on, I think they smell that feed. I mean, I can smell it from here. There we go. Oh, you lost the shoe. Come on, pigs. You got this. The tricky part is kind of making these turns. I'm gonna open this. Can you um, dump that feed like right there? All right, girls, I'm gonna open these. <laughs> I know. Don't tell them that. You know what, let's try to feed them inside this shelter because I need to fix this fence and then we need to take this coop out. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. We shouldn't have dumped that feed over there. We should have dumped it over here. Do you have a soaked feed for them? I don't. Oh, I do have soap. No, I don't have soaked feed. feed. I don't. Hey, pig. We got one in there. We need the other one. There we go. Come on. Come on, pigs. Come on, pig. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chicken tractor. Pigs in a chicken tractor. Pigs in a chicken tractor. That is it. That's the secret. <laughs> now we gotta get their water. Gotta get them more feed. Now if he's soaking the bucket, because I didn't get a chance to soak any buckets. Bucket of feeds for them today. And then I need to get this thing out. Ideally, you probably want two of these. But we're trying to make it to the end, guys. We're almost at the end of these pigs. And I hate to just make another one. Uh, just for, like, today. The ducks would like it. Coming, pigs. Oh, they're so thirsty. <laughs> hey, pigs. Now we gotta fill up their bucket. And that's it, man. <laughs> it's always exciting, you know? It's exciting moving pigs. Man, these chicken tractors definitely do come in handy. Pigs were in here seven days. Seven days, and the only thing they did was take out that light. But. Yeah, you know, it's it's still good. Like they didn't destroy it. Um, you know, maybe if it was a longer time that they would have this or be in here, uh, then they might have des destroyed it. I don't know. Like I said before, I'm trying to make our farm sitters. You know, when they're farm farm sitting, you want to make it easy for them. So I'm pre-soaking all their buckets of feed, so that way they don't have to do it, and they just have to just come and feed the pigs. This is our automatic feeder. We're going to give these to the chickens while we're gone. We're going to put this feeder underneath the chicken coop because it does, it can get water in it, I've noticed. But that's a homemade automatic chicken feeder where the chickens just basically poke their heads in there and eat. This is full, so this feeder should last about five days. So we got that feeder, we got that chicken feeder, plus this is their water, and then I have another automatic water that I'm gonna set up before we leave. We're only getting two eggs. We got 13 chickens, two eggs. Come on, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing, Fuzzy? Another thing I gotta do today, or actually we gotta do, is load up 
is load up this U-Haul trailer we rented because, guys, we're taking all the stuff. We're taking a bunch of merchandise, t-shirts, hats, beanies. Um, Lorraine has her own skincare line. She's taking a bunch of that. Plus, easy up, tables, handmade items, plus all of our food for the whole week. We had to print some up from our local printer, our local t-shirt guy, and he hooked us up with a bunch of these shirts to take. Plus, we're taking a bunch of plant presses. Also, we're starting to sell these chicken aprons, our famous chicken aprons that Lorraine wears. On chicken butchering day, they're PVC, so they're waterproof. We're taking a bunch of beanies also, guys. Guys, I'm gonna be putting these on our Etsy shop soon. Um, I have more beanies here just for you guys for online. If you, if you cannot make it to Homesteaders of America. Um, also, this is new. I'm kind of excited about these. These are Grow Food Build Stuff bandanas. Look at that. And then also, hey Bernice bandanas. Can't forget about Bernice. First homeschool lesson of today, how to fold a t-shirt. How to fold a t-shirt to sell at a booth. See how it looks just like that? All the sleeves are wrapped together. Then you're going to fold it this way. The bottoms up and then there. And now we can see the size. Oh. Trying to be organized here, guys. We got hoodies for taking. So the trick is we want to be as organized as possible. It's all it's all a lot of work up front, but then when we're in it, we you know when we're when we're at the event, you know, we got a bunch of people around, you know, it's just easier if there's things are organized. Alright, we're almost there. I need to set up a water system, our go-to system when we want to leave for a few days. This system automatically fills up. It's like a little thing so they don't get it dirty. And then you just hook it up to a hose that automatically fills up and the chickens drink from it and it's always constant flow of water. And then we have the automatic chicken coop door which this is essential if you want to leave for a few days. Also, chickens put themselves to bed and it wakes them up in the morning and it lets them out. I mean, if it wasn't for our two pigs, we wouldn't even need a farm sitter because the egg layers are all automatic. He empties water and it fills up automatically. It might seem kind of, we're in a kind of a rush during the spring and summer to raise as much meat as possible, like all those meat chickens we, we raised this year. And that's because we're trying to fit it in before we leave the Homesteaders of America conference. Just in case we don't have a farm sitter, we can't find one because they are hard to come by these days. Check on the pigs. Hey pigs. Got some food. Patiently waiting each day that goes by. Staring out windows at stars in the sky. Imagining one day. I'll be one of them, but patient.